Recording your screen in Camtasia Studio. To begin, just click Record the Screen, the big red button. Wait for your Camtasia recorder to come up. Select the portion of the screen that you wish to record, either the full screen, which is what we usually recommend, or the custom area, which can be adjusted. You can turn on your webcam if you wish, if you have one. It's not essential by any means. Make sure that audio is turned on and select the microphone which you wish to record from. Be sure that you're seeing deflection on this meter here and that you see only occasional flashes of red and some yellow as you speak. Adjust your microphone sensitivity by using the slider. Begin recording by clicking the big red button. You'll be counted down, and now we're recording. Let's say we want to show someone how to log into Blackboard. Simply Go to www.sdccdonline.net, click Login, enter your username, which is your CSID, or other login name, and then your password for faculty. The password initially is Change Me. For students, it's their eight digit birth date month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Press enter once the password is typed and you will be logged into Blackboard. To end a recording in Camtasia Studio, the easiest way to do this is to hit the F10 key on your keyboard. And now we're you'll be given a preview of the recording. Recording. Let's say we want to sh you play just a little bit of it to be sure that both video and audio are recorded. And then, if the recording is usable, click Save and Edit. If not, click Delete. We'll take this and we'll click Save and Edit. Give your capture a name. We recommend that you save it in your Camtasia Studio folder under Documents. Generally a good idea not to put spaces in file names used for the web. We'll click Save. And the Camtasia production screen will now come up. You do have to pick your editing dimensions. As a general rule, if you're working in 4x3 format, ratio, we recommend you select 800 by 600, which is a good compromise between clarity, quality, and size of the file, and bandwidth. Once you've made that selection, just click OK, and you're now ready to edit or produce your video. More on those activities in other tutorials.